let's just define a slip or a relapse as the return to drinking after a period of sobriety. The return to drinking is a return to complete insanity. And believe it or not, that is the insanity that Bill Wilson, the co-founder of AA, was referring to in step two when he referred to the insanity of the alcoholic. We came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could return us to sanity. I heard that man speak once, and I heard him define what he meant by that. He was not referring to the goofy things people do when they're drunk. Non-alcoholics who get drunk do crazy things. They're acting in a drugged condition. He explained, I heard him, with his own lips that the insanity of the alcoholic is when he is physically sober. He picks up the first drink of the next series of drinks, and that is totally irrational, insane behavior, to go back to consuming a drug that is killing him. Insanity. And the insanity is partially explained by this. With one swallow, the alcoholic, no matter how many years sober, is catapulted back into the hell from which he came in the first place. There is instant return to a life of living a lie. Then the big ones, resentment and self-pity. The co-founder of AA said these words, and they're scary. Resentment and self-pity are luxuries, luxuries that the alcoholic can ill afford. Resentment and self-pity, unless faced and handled, or at least an attempt to handle them is made, have often resulted in a return to drinking. They tell a lovely story of a fellow in an AA meeting one night. He was chairing the meeting. It was on resentments. He said, let's talk about resentments tonight. How many of you have resentments against anybody on earth? Every hand in the room went up. He looked around and discovered, except one. It was an old duffer, 93 years old, sitting in the back. He thought, well, I don't know, maybe he didn't hear me. How many of you resent no one on earth? The old fellow stood up. He said, you don't resent anybody? The old man said, no, I don't. I said, how come? He said, I outlived them all. Hey, it only... It's like the Irishman was ice skating, you know, on some thin ice, and he went through. And a buddy of his said, uh, well, how did you come to fall through the ice? He said, I didn't come to fall through the ice, I came to skate. <laughs> Speaking of Irishmen, I... I ever tell you about the Irishman was visiting the Holy Land, he got to the Sea of Galilee, and he said to the boatman, what will it cost to get to the other side? He said, $250. Good Lord, he said, what a price. The fellow said, you have to remember this is the sea that our Lord walked on. He said, at them prices, no wonder he walked. 